Hey guys, welcome to my channel Code Canvas. In this video, we will learn about CSS property called background position. So, the background position property in CSS allows you to move a background image or it can be a gradient around within its container. Okay, so in CSS, how you can use it? You might have body and you can use background position to 200 pixel and 5 pixel okay so we will see with actual example so it can have three different type of values the first value is length value like you can see here 200 pixel 5 pixel okay the second value possible is percentage you can keep it like 100 percent or 50 percent as percentage value Okay, and third possible value is keywords like top, center, or left, or top, right. Okay, so these three values are possible. The first one is length value, second one is percentages, and third one is keywords. So default values are 0, 0. Okay, this places your background image at the top left to its container. So let's see with an actual example. Let's say we have one view with uh, some class. Okay. Uh, some box we can give a class name. Okay. So here let's write down some CSS. Uh, let's give height 250 pixel. Okay. Width 400 pixel. Let's add some border border of 5 pixel solid let's say green okay so this is border you can add margin you can say 0 0.5 pm okay top and bottom and left and right you can give okay you can add background url background image let me copy this image url here okay so let's see how it looks right now it is repeated so background repeat no repeat okay let's see so as you can see the background image is fit in this container and the default position is zero zero the zero from left and zero from top right so when you want to change this position what you can do you can add a background position you can keep it like right bottom and let's see how it works yes you can see now this background image is at right bottom you can simply give left then it will be left zero so it will start from here from the left okay so left you can uh, give some value center center is default okay uh, you can give bottom and it will be bottom okay. here you can give top top bottom no it is top and center or it might be top right okay so uh, you can give uh, three kind of values as we mentioned length value a percentage or keywords okay so uh, let's start with keywords first okay so uh, you can uh, write down like right bottom and uh, whatever position you want to set okay apart from that you can give like this 350 pixel zero then how it will position so as you can see let me open so background position x is 350 pixel so uh, let me make it 300 so you can see so distance from x it is 300 and from top that is y it is 0 so here you can give 50 pixel for example and it will be little bit here 
okay so with this value you can also give percentage 100 percent zero and you can see 100 percent means it will be 100 percent from this point so it will be a corner and position y is zero so if you simply remove this then it will take like this okay so default position for y center so if you want to make it bottom you can write down 100 percent bottom then it will place here okay and uh, the third one is keywords as we already saw okay so uh, uh, apart from that you can give background position up to four values in uh, modern browsers like chrome okay so if you declare one value that value is the horizontal offset so if you give 300 pixel then it will be a 300 pixel here okay this distance so this is horizontal offset and the browser sets the vertical offset to center so here the default value is as you can see here vertical center okay when you declare two values the first value is a horizontal offset and second value is a vertical offset so uh, right now let me uh, keep it top 300 pixel top then let's see here the first value is 300 that is the horizontal offset and the second value is vertical offset okay so when you uh, use two values or four values you have to keep this in mind so what if you use three values like uh, right let's say 50 pixel and bottom let's see so if you use three values it will be used at background position x right 50 percent uh, 50 pixel and y to bottom so in this case when you specify three values the browser will interpret the missing fourth value as zero then it will be interpreted as like this right 50 percent 50 pixel bottom and zero correct see now it is interpreted as zero okay so this position of the background image that 50 pixel from the right okay here 50 pixel from the right and zero pixel from the bottom of this container okay so uh, this is the fourth value you can use uh, let's say 20 pixel and see so here this puts the background image 50 pixel from the right and 20 pixel from the bottom of this container okay so you need to take care when you use two values three values or four values as a background position all right and the basic supported uh, browsers are chrome firefox i edge and safari for both desktop and mobile tablets all right okay guys that's all for this video i hope you learned something new today with background position and when you use background image as a css property uh, most of the times we have to use this background position css property okay if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel if you have any questions any suggestions you can leave your comments below this comment box and see you next time thank you